December 1, 1805. 72,000 French soldiers of Napoleon were marching toward the town of Austerlitz, where they faced the daunting prospect of being outnumbered by larger armies. Approaching from the north was the Russian forces, Emperor Alexander I and his 65,000 men. Joining the Russian from southwest direction, 25,000 soldiers of Austrian Emperor Francis II occupied the significant location of Austerlitz. Napoleon came up with his master plan, dividing his army into multiple corps, each under the command of a skillful general. The first corps was assigned to Marshal John Bernadotte, a skilled general in handling infantry, was tasked with holding the critical low ground of Pratzen Heights, buying invaluable time for Napoleon's master plan to unfold. The second corps, led by Marshal John Lannett, marched northwards towards Santon Hill, steadfastly defending the left flank of Napoleon's forces. Third corps, commanded by Marshal Louis Nicholas Devout, one of the most talented and trusted general renowned for his tactical brilliance and unwavering discipline. Napoleon ordered Devout to march his army over 110 kilometers in 48 hours from Vienna to reach the vulnerable southern flank of the army. Lastly, concealed deep within the French center, the Fourth Corps, under Marshal Nicolas Soult, served as an agile reserve force, poised and ready to launch a sudden attack at the opportune moment. Napoleon's plan was to encourage the Allied forces to concentrate their attack on his seemingly weak right flank, thereby exposing their center forces to vulnerability. He purposefully deceived the enemy by making his right flank appear weak, orchestrated a cunning retreat, luring the Allies into a false sense of victory as they eagerly pursued the low morale French troops and were drawn deep into the treacherous frozen ice pond where Napoleon's master plan revealed As the Allies sending more troops to attack the southern flank of Napoleon army, the 4th Reserve Corp was hiding and ready to attack enemy's center force which was now open up. 16,000 men commanded by Marshal Nicholas Soult was cloaked by dense mist during the early stage of the battle. In fact, how long the mist lasted was vital to Napoleon's plan as Soult's troops would become uncovered if the mist dissipated too soon. But if it lingered too long, Napoleon would be unable to determine when the Allied had evacuated Pratzen Heights, preventing him from timing his attack properly. On the other hand, the Third Corps of Devout arrived exactly 48 hours later as per Napoleon's plan to support the southern flank, as the enemy was now trapped and isolated from their main army forces. As the mist dissipated, the Fourth Corps launched a decisive attack, overwhelming and defeating the enemy's center force. With their victory secured, they swiftly redirected their focus to the crucial Pratzen Heights. Coordinating with the First Corps, they executed a powerful joint assault, crushing the Allied forces and successfully capturing the strategic heights. From here, they marched southward at full force to unite with Marshal Devout, forcing the enemy to retreat over the frozen ice pond. Napoleon ordered the artillery to target the ice directly, breaking the frozen surface and drowning thousand Allied soldiers. 